guys, hope you're welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'd also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Scorpio from the 7th to the 13th of October 2019. Please don't forget to watch Moon and Rising Sign for a more complete picture. If you'd like a personal reading, please go to my website jessmar.co.uk and book a reading. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box and I've put in links to Amazon and eBay. So please follow these links uh, to view or to buy the deck. And don't forget to watch my videos on Simple Energy Healing Remedies, my deck walkthrough series, as well as my uh, series on gemstones and crystals. You'll find those very, very interesting. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with a general energy read, and I am going to be using the Oracle of the Radiant Sun for that. So the first card you've got is the Negotiation card. So it seems like you're trying to make a decision about something and you're weighing up all the pros and cons. You can see she's got the moon and she's got the sun in her hands over there. So you're, you're looking at all your options and uh, trying to make a kind of decision. It's about money, it's about expansion. You've got Jupiter sitting over there uh, and you know, you're know you really thinking uh, long and hard about it. So you want to change things from the dark into the light really. So whatever this negotiation that is going on, um, you know, you're um, you're looking, you're weighing up all options quite carefully over there. It seems like you might have been uh, speaking to somebody about it. You've got the empathy card over there. So you're looking for some kind of advice. Um, you know, you are going to somebody who is friendly or somebody who is loyal to you or somebody that you believe is going to be giving you that uh, good advice. If you haven't, then you do need to go to somebody that you can trust, uh, you know, and uh, they might be giving you pearls of wisdom. You can see this little bird carrying uh, a little diamond over there. Um, so whatever it is that they're about to tell you, whatever advice that is coming to you is going to be something that is very, very valuable and something that will make a big change in your life there. Uh, there is a need for you to do something unusual or maybe you're thinking about doing something unusual on the work front. Uh, you might have a really brilliant idea and you want to put that into pla practice there. So this is like a fish out of water um, and you can see this is a very strange looking creature over there. So it might be something that people consider to be quite weird but it might be something that is going to be the money spinner for you. So it is something uh, if you have a very very brilliant idea you do need to put that forward. Maybe you're trying to sell this new idea and it looks like you need to stick with that uh, and, um, you know, put all your effort into that because that is going to be the thing that brings the success in for you. In the past, you've got the egotism cards. So you have been focusing on yourself there, putting all your energy and effort into th doing things that you love. You've got Mars there in Leo. So this is about uh, focusing on your needs and your own um, situation there. And, you know, you've got the rebellion card. So whatever it is, you're, you, you're up in arms at anybody who has anything to say about it. Um, you know, you are um, now following your own path. You're not listening to anybody at the moment. You might be dealing with people who are against whatever you have to say, but it seems like you've put your walls up uh, and you're not listening to anything they've got to say. You're rebelling against society or rebelling against whatever the norm is. So, you know, you are moving away from the traditional. And with that eccentricity card over there, it seems like you want to do something very, very different uh, and move on. So going into the future, you've got the practicality card. So even though this is something that's very different um, that you want to do, with that practicality card, make sure that it is well grounded because you're going to have to do a lot of hard work, uh, put in a lot of effort. You can see there, moon in Capricorn. So this is about being very, very focused. You can see this man's got the plow and this is about just you know, knuckling down and getting it done. So don't procrastinate. If you have an idea, don't just stick with an idea. Make sure that it becomes concrete. And you've got revenge over there. So this is about, uh, you know, maybe uh, getting back at people uh, who have done you down. Uh, maybe this is what you're hoping for, that by, um, you know, putting this new idea or this new plan into place, you will get your revenge. Uh, it seems like you're not taking any prisoners. You're not listening to anything anybody's got to say. Maybe somebody has been very nasty towards you. It could have been a relationship. Uh, but whatever the situation was, it, you know, you're not listening to anything they've got to say. Uh, you're being very, very calculated as well about the whole thing. And pretty ruthless, I would think. Uh, or you do need to be that way in order for you to get your project on, on the road. So uh, you need to be very focused, to be very uh, ruthless 
and you need to go for it and don't listen to what anybody's got to say uh, and you're going to have to put in a lot of work make sure that it's very practical whatever you're doing uh, it shouldn't be like you know something that's up there in the sky and you can't get it to, to uh, lift off or take off because it had no grounding so make sure that you're looking at it from a very practical point of view before you put it into play and it is something very unusual that you want to to bring out uh, but you need to be very practical. There is some advice coming in for you. Make sure that you are listening to it as well. So some, whoever this person is that's going to give you that advice, it's going to be really good advice. So listen to it before you make your, your mind up with this negotiation card. Right, so those are the energies for that week. So I'm just going to draw some cards uh, from the um, Everyday Enchantment Tarot. I have shuffled this deck, so let's see what's going on. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Nine of Blades, and this is talking about some kind of deadline uh, that you have to meet, and you're very, very anxious about what is going on. There's a choice as well coming up. There's something that you are not uh, happy about, so you're refusing to even see it or look at it. You can see there's a final notice over there. You can see maybe somebody's um, made an offer to you, and they, there's a deadline attached to it there. You can also see that you've got that spilt cup over there. Maybe they've been asked. They've asked you to actually move um, and travel to do whatever this job is. Move home to do this work away from wherever you've been living. So maybe you're not accepting this move, or you don't want to move on. Maybe uh, it's about being promoted and having to do the job in another country. Because you've got that four of wands. This is about moving home and doing a job somewhere else. You've been working with a group of people pretty well, but very international. And maybe the the request has come in that you go and do this job um, overseas and you're not happy with that. Um, you're, not, you're actually refusing to do that. And you're very stressed out because it seems like there's some kind of deadline that's attached to this particular job as well. You're not sleeping well at, at night, uh, you know, and uh, you're having to complete maybe a project under pressure as well. Uh, but there's some kind of offer that you are refusing. You're not happy with it at all. And maybe it's that offer to travel and do your work somewhere else. Now, what's happening with you? You've got the Eight of Wands. So there is some kind of home move coming in for you over there with that Eight of Wands. You can see there's the house sold there. So there's some message coming in. Maybe you're waiting for your home to be, so, uh, to be sold in order for you to move on so you can do this job overseas. It seems like that, has coming in, that is coming into play over here. The Eight of Wands is usually about travel and it's usually about overseas travel and could even be about overseas messages. You've got the Royal Mail postman coming in over there bringing in that message. So there's a message coming in. Maybe there's a completion of a sale. Uh, there might have been some kind of legal issues that you are dealing with as well with that two of blades. Maybe uh, somebody's made an offer on your home and you were not happy with that offer that was made to you. Whatever it is, is stressing you out. But that if you're waiting for that home to be sold, you are going to get whatever you want. And you are going to be able to move on because you've got that home sold over here. And that news is coming in for you quite quickly. You can see this child is moving on and he's got a plane in his hand. So it seems like maybe you're, uh, you're selling your home and moving overseas to go and do your job somewhere else. And it looks like that's going to come into to play for you. You've got the eight of coins over here. So this is about being very, very focused on your work. Uh, and it looks like that's going to be... Um, you're going to have to require, be required to do some further training or further study as well. Uh, but you're going to also have to put in a lot of work. You might be specializing in this particular field that you're doing as well. There's somebody there that's guiding you, uh, giving you a helping hand as well. But there's news also coming in about this job as well. But you're very, very focused on it, very, very hard working, working long hours. But there's also a lot of learning that you're doing. So there is some news coming in. Maybe this is what you've been stressing out on, waiting for that news to come in. And that is going to be coming. So the first offer is something that you've refused and you're waiting for that news and it looks like it's going to be something positive because you can see she's accepting the letters. So it looks like there's going to be something positive and you're going to be moving forward. 
It could have been that you're starting a new job somewhere. You've got that ace of coins over here, so there may be an opportunity to, for you to start a new project somewhere else. You've been working very, very hard on this new job or this new project that you've been doing, and it has been bringing in the money. There's been some kind of big drama that has happened recently, though. You've got the tower card over here. So this is about maybe moving even, uh, you know, maybe this news about having to move or having to start fresh somewhere else came as quite a shock for you. Uh, you can see everything's being thrown out of the tower as well. So this was a, something that happened or this could be some kind of drama that even happened on the work front over there that caused a lot of problems or caused a lot. There could have been some kind of arguments, some kind of um, problem that you were involved in where there was a big disruption as well. Messages came in that uh, caused a lot of uh, anxiety and a lot of stress simply because of that nine of blades sitting next to it. So whatever's happened, you've had a tower moment recently and it's to do with this new job that you have started with this new ace of coins over here. So maybe this is the reason why you're moving on uh, to something else. You've got the three of wands over here. So it, it does look like you want to travel and do your work somewhere else. You're taking charge, taking control, putting feelers out and this is travel on an international basis as well so working with people on an international basis you can see that airplane flying off so you are making a change it seems like you're making a big move and whatever this new job is that you're going to be doing you're going to be learning a lot on it as well and it's going to bring in that money you've got the nine of wands over here so uh, whatever you have been working at uh you know you've it's taken its toll on you. You've been carrying a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities. You can see this man is in crutches and he's got his arm broken over there. So, you know, it, it might have led to some physical illness in itself. Uh, and, you know, you've been receiving no help whatsoever in whatever it is you're doing. And you're still almost like that wounded soldier. Just You're just carrying on uh, working no matter how hard that strain has been on you. So you're going through a very, very difficult period at the moment. You've got the moon card over here, so this is about being very depressed, not seeing things very clearly, uh, feeling a bit confused about things as well, not really knowing what you want to do, and feeling very lonely and afraid as well. So things are not quite as clear and, and clean cut as you would like them to be, and there's a little bit of confusion going on around this particular issue that you're dealing with. You've got the nine of, nine of coins coming in, so uh, you know very soon you're going to be pretty independent financially, but it's also going to bring in a lot of recognition, a lot of money coming in. There's some kind of choice that is also going to be um, that you have to make at the moment. But whatever this new job is that you're going to be doing, it um, you know you'll be doing it pretty much by yourself. So working quite independently, working as an expert at whatever it is you're doing. Um, and uh, it looks like there might be some further study that's involved. So you might be specializing in whatever it is you're doing. You may need to go overseas or move home to start specializing. The Knight of Coins is maybe even buying a new home somewhere else um, in a new country, but by yourself. So you're going independently, maybe buying a new home. Whatever this job is, is going to bring in a lot of money as well and make you very financially independent. And you're going to be an expert at whatever it is you're doing. You've got the seven of blades over here. So you do feel as though, uh, you know, you were, you've lost something. Almost as though somebody has stolen something from you with that seven of blades. You can see this man's making off with all the jewelry. So maybe people have not been helpful. There may have been a lot of lies and deceit that you were dealing with, um, you know, on the work front over there. So people have been withholding information from you. And it's, it's the thing that's upset you as well. Things going on behind your back that you were not even aware of. You're pretty... Uh, you know, you're pretty psychic as um, Scorpio is a pretty psychic s a sign. So you do know when things are amiss around you. And that is how you're feeling at the moment. You've got the Magician, the Temperance, and you've got the Three of Coins. So with the Magician, whatever it is you work on is going to uh, manifest for you. So if you put your effort and energy into it, you can see this man's digging up this and making this garden. Um, you know, you're going to have to work pretty hard at whatever it is, this, whatever this project is, uh, whatever this new job is, but it, it will produce the uh, rewards. You have a lot of skills and you have a lot of talent and you can make this work. You can make this happen. This man is making a garden in, uh, in an old um, used uh, lot. So, you know, maybe you're doing some kind of a job that is almost um, where you're resurrecting something from the past or something that has, uh, you know, maybe they're sending in you in to resurrect an old um, a project or something that wasn't, didn't take off initially. And you will be the one that will be able to bring life or breathe life into this new project. 
but it's going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of effort on your part. You're going to use your skills. You're going to be dealing with people that are a bit stubborn, a bit difficult, uh, but you're going to have to use all your skills um, in order for you to get things going. You've got this, these two cups over here, and this is talking about choice that is coming in for you. So you have to decide uh, which is the lesser of the two evils and go with it. The temperance card says, you know, hold your temper. Count to ten if, you know, when things uh, don't go your way. Use your intuition. You've got the big cat over there in the background. Um, and, you know, you're going to have to negotiate uh, your way through a lot of situa uh, through a, a lot of the situation, but you will be team leader. Well, you've got the three of coins over here. This brings in the money, and you will be the one that orchestrates, or you'll be the one that is leading the, this team of people. So, although you're dealing with very difficult people, it's going to be you know that um, maybe attention to detail. Also, they uh, don't let them get under your skin. So, uh, you know, you're going to have to be very diplomatic when you're dealing with people and you're going to be able to make a big difference over there. It's going to be very successful for you. So, I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. So it looks like you are making some kind of big move, big change over there, and you are going to be moving forward. And whatever it is uh, that you're going to be starting, looks like it's going to be quite successful. You've got the Eight of Aerial over here, so take great pride in your excellent work. Pract practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. So you've got that twice here. You've got the Ace of Eight of Coins twice here, so there might be some further study or further training coming in for you there. Um, and you're going to have to maybe even review old documents or even go back into your old knowledge and review it, uh, update it really. You've got the moon a card appearing again over here, so an opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for uh, accurate guidance, and face your fears and grow stronger. So whatever you're afraid of, uh, you know, you need to let that go. You need to be strong and you need to be someone who takes control of that situation. So don't allow yourself uh, to be confused or don't allow the situation to confuse you. Um, you know, make sure you're thinking very clearly when you do things. You've got the peace card over here, which is the death card, and it says release the past. There's more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. So you have to have a lot of faith in whatever you're doing. With the death card is letting go of this old situation and moving on. So you do have, have to take that leap of faith and start it on again. You have been carrying a lot of burdens and responsibilities. And it has been stressing you out far too much. So whatever this new thing is coming in, don't be afraid. Uh, it might be it seem like a really big project, but it's going to be successful. And you have what it takes to actually make uh, this thing very successful and become a leader in that field. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.